this is a request another request from one of our youtubers this is pat love with pat's two cents and what this one asks is please share and encourage those families who are broken into pieces due to mental illnesses addictions alcohol porn hatred unforgiveness and the black sheep smear campaigners that just never end this has brought in painful division of almost 10 years from grandchildren aunts cousins fathers mothers etc some of us are so hurt that the slightest touch in that area of our souls brings it all back again but it has destroyed it has destroyed the family thank you all right now i'm going to share one thing there's a scripture that said a country it's either a city or a country divided against itself shall not stand now listen number one god says judge not number two he says forgive all right number three he says to love your enemies number four blessed are the peacemakers number five we are ambassadors of reconciliation or ministers of reconciliation now here we go I'm going to share a dream God gave me when my husband had a family member one family member went to prison another family member cheated him out of all of his inheritance other family members never came around when he was at the bottom of his game in his health you know how they say everybody turns their back on you when you broke broke down and sick well listen not every not a lot of his family stayed in touch i'm just saying certain ones now listen to this god gave me a dream and this is the best way for me to say it for you because i had never even thought of it and god is so good knowing what was coming down the pike he prepared my husband and me before we got the first sniff of trouble now in this dream and i share this for you for all you family members who have so much to say and so much attitude so much anger and so much confusion listen to this in this situation my husband and i were face to face and I looked to my left, and I saw a tidal wave coming. It was off at the distance, so I had the time to tell him what we were to do to prepare for the impact. And I say it to you, because this came from God. Milton, put your arms around my waist. I will put my arms around your waist. Now, baby, there's a tidal wave coming, and we have to lock on to each other. We cannot let that water drive a wedge between you and me. We cannot let anything pull us apart. We have to lock on to each other with all our might, no matter what. All right. The tidal wave comes. We're locked arm in arm. Not arm in arm, waist to waist. We're locked around each other. I mean, we've got a, a real bear hug going on here. And that water came and whipped us to the left, whipped us to the right, whipped us up, whipped us down, whipped us round and round. And before we knew it, we were flying up in the air. And bam, we landed on cement. Dry ground. We were bone dry, still holding each other. 
When I woke up and I shared that dream with him, he got the same interpretation I did. Nothing and nobody was to build a wedge or drive a wedge between us. No matter what, people criticized me. People had snide remarks to say about me. People said to me things like, I don't know how you could marry a blind man. I couldn't do it. I couldn't handle it. You know, you know, don't let this caregiving thing start to weigh you down. You might have to put him in a facility. We heard all kind of stuff. And then drama happened. He had a all kind of stuff was happening with his body and he was in and out of the hospital and I had to take time off from the salon and it was it was drama. It was emotional upheavals. I was afraid he was going to pass away on me. Then he had a family member go to prison and that just about took him out. Then another family member turned their back on him and ripped him off of his inheritance. I, this whole thing was just getting crazy. And some family members never came around anymore that he was very close to. So there was a lot of hurt that he went through and there was a lot of rejection that I went through and that, I mean, we could have gotten into a lot of arguments about the stuff that was going down. We never, ever took the drama around us, the world, when we never took it out on each other, not once. Because God had told me, had shown me the dream. I shared it with Milton and he and I discussed it and prayed on it. That God would never allow us to, to back up and let the wedge come between us. We would never let it happen. And as a result, my husband and I were so solidly bonded together by God's love and by God's power. That till the day he drew his last breath, we were holding tight to each other through thick and thin. And the love was the most beautiful that I could have ever expected. So I say that to tell you, whatever happens in families, Whatever people fail you, do not take it out on each other. Do not blame each other. Do not sit up there and condemn each other. Whatever choices people make in the families, it is their choice. Not your fault, not his fault, not her fault, nobody's fault. People are grown, they make their choices. Some are young and rebellious and they make their choices. I saw my husband make poor choices as a parent because he was so busy trying to be loving that he wouldn't discipline like he should. And me not having had children, it was difficult for him to hear it from me the kind of discipline we should enforce because I had never been a parent. But I had to explain to him, no, I was never a parent. I was a child of two parents that follow through with their threats. And I'm telling you, because they disciplined me, because they, they gave me boundaries, very clear boundaries with clear understanding. There are a lot of pitfalls I avoided because I knew they didn't play. You hear me? So my husband and I had to navigate through that and still throughout all the discussions, we never took it out on each other. You hear me? We reached a level of understanding, higher levels of understanding. We didn't, why don't you just drop dead and go to hell? You don't know what you're talking about. Not, no, we didn't go through that. And if you're going through it, baby, Satan is 
the author of confusion and all you're doing is opening the door inviting satan in saying set a spell we're going to allow you to tear our family apart now that's what you want to do you're adult you're grown go right on ahead but as for me and my house me and my husband we chose to serve the lord and we didn't allow satan to have one toenails worth of a gap in that door he did not have any place in our house i hope you choose the same love be merciful be patient understanding long-suffering be kind even to those that are not kind to you and forgive don't judge above all love peace unto you god bless you